Kenny. Oh, oh. Kenny. Kenny. Yes. Oh my God, it's been a terrible. The show just started. Terrible. It's been a terrible day. Oh no, it's Wednesday. I'm trying the show. This is the first thing. Happy we're Wednesday. It's uh, another day. You ever live? You ever hear that song? You hear that sound? It's Jingle Day. Hell yeah! Oh, hello friends and neighbors, welcome to another production of the program, here we are on TV, once again, once a day, every day, turn on the machines and live! Forever. Alright, here it goes, we did it, we did it, that's the intro. Okay. Oh man, I, I hopped on before the intro. Yeah, that's okay. Um. Uh, where's your, uh, is your video supposed to be on, or not? It is. It is? Can you, you should leave and come back. Okay. Okay, let's see. I'm like this, oh. You interrupted me listening to Fiona Apple over and over. What was it? I was listening to Fiona Apple over and over again. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I listen to all three. I listen to three Mitski albums. I'm very. This has been a very, a very, a very bad day, Kenny. Oh no! I'm sorry. What's um, what's Fiona Apple's big hit song? Um, I like all about love. <laughs> uh, not about love. Not about love. Yeah. Um, it's not about. Yes, I like that song, Kenny. Is Fiona Apple still alive? Fiona Apple is kicking. She's so alive. And, uh, what's she been doing for the last 25 years? It's only been, it's only been, what, four years since she made a really popular album. What, what was her last one? The, uh, Touch the Bow Cutters. Uh, I don't know what that is. I thought her last big hit song was in 1997. No, her last big, her last big hit was four years ago. I missed that one. Come on, Kenny. How are you? Give us the times. Oh, I'm absolutely terrible, Kenny. Yeah, why? Oh, you shouldn't get into relationships and rehab, Kenny. Is that what happened? Yeah, you shouldn't date your roommate. Yeah, I heard that. <laughs> yeah. Have you heard, um, you know, Yellowfellow is also in the rehab there. And he says it's like two broken batteries. Oh, that's very, well, it's worse than that, it's like two guns pointed, two, two guns, two fires. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what, what, it's worse. what happened? Did something, I mean, you don't want to talk about it? Oh, no, I can talk about it. Okay, did what, something specific happen today, or what? Yeah, so, well, it was supposed, it was supposed to be, like, monogamous or whatever, you know? What? Huh? That was the plan? It was supposed to be. That was the plan. But, uh, and then yesterday they decided to change that plan, basically. Just to make it open, or did they just, was it cheating? The ladder. Oh no! Are you <laughs> you <living again>? Yeah. <laughs> Huh? You live together though, huh? Yeah, but uh, I'm going to the psych ward tomorrow. I'm going to the psych ward. Are you because of the, the breakup? Yes. It's making you. It's that bad, huh? It's that bad. It's that bad, Kenny. Last time I had. I, I had a very, I was very obsessed with somebody in rehab recently, actually before this, and I relapsed on ketamine. Oh no, that's so heavy. Yeah, it's my main thing is this whole love thing. I'm, I'm a love addict, I go to love addict meetings, Kenny. Well, yeah. So, you're not, you're not gonna meet your coin, huh? I mean, isn't it sad when you get a coin from the love addict meeting? <laughs> right? Not if you look at it the right way. 
But, uh, I mean, okay. We want to be, I mean, we want, I guess, love. She want love. That's, like, part of life. Yes. Well, you can have other people love. It's more about doing it healthily. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think, I mean, too, getting your roommates in general is probably um, not a good idea. Never do it. Never do it. Don't do it, Kenny. Don't do it, Kenny. Because it's supposed to be, like, like a big step to move in together, right? Yes. And then you're just, like, already living together. Yeah. And then you're probably, well, I, I would guess that it starts with hooking up because you're there, and then, and then what? Yes. Yeah, right? oh. yeah, um, yeah, I, yeah, do you, Kenny, do you know what love bombing is? No. It's a form of manipulation where you, like, super duper express love very early in the relationship. And then you start to, like, devalue the person, and then you usually, they usually end, and then they, and then they leave the person. It's a form of manipulation. Like on their part? Yes, it was used against me. So they say, they say, I love you so much from the whole world, and you're like, oh my god, what? Yeah, I, after like two days, yeah. Little of me? What? Oh. <laughs> yeah, after two, yeah, yes, exactly. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, I, I, I would fall for that. Yeah, yeah, see? Oh, uh, you get a thank you, Kenny, because I feel like I'm crazy, but no, yeah, I, I feel like it's, yeah, it, I, I, it's easy to fall for. I don't um, think, yeah, I don't, I don't think anybody's ever tried to manipulate me into a relationship before. Wow, you're you're really lucky, Kenny. Am I? I mean, why not? We're, I'm, I'm not worth manipulation. What's going on here? Oh, I think you're so worth manipulation, Kenny. You're gonna get manipulated one day. <laughs> I'm just waiting for it. Just wait for it, Kenny. You're gonna get manipulated bad. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's gonna hurt. You're supposed to <laughs> um <laughs> manipulate manipulated um like uh what else is uh. I guess in a healthy relationship is open communication, so it's not manipulation, but um, isn't it all mm-hmm. manipulation? Like, isn't that the whole point of the um, flowers and like, uh, picking like a date? Like, like you mean like in a healthy way? Like if I'm gonna go, if I'm gonna go on a date, then maybe I'm gonna um, uh-huh. take a, you know, take a shower and like a uh, and and. Say, be like, what am I gonna say? You know, and is that manipulation? Um, not if it's lying. Not if it's not lying. If it's not lying, then no. Oh, okay. Um, but if it's lying to get the person in your control, then it is. Are you still living with? I, I think like a lot of the things that you don't like. The manipulators are aren't. Conscious manipulators? Is that what it is? It's like you're... Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, but... I don't know. They kind of knew what they were doing. Like, you do, but it's not like... like You just kind of do it naturally. If you're yeah. Like, like a scary... <laughs> maybe predator or whatever? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's the way it is. It, it's it's not their fault. They, like, have shit they're dealing with. But, um... Yeah. Where, where are you living, then? I mean, we were living with this person, and then... Yep. Do you have, I mean, where, do you have somewhere to live? Yeah, I mean, I'm still at rehab, they didn't kick me out, and, uh, after the psych ward, I'll just come back here, and we're in different rooms now. Oh, okay. Did, did you have to, but you, you weren't supposed to be doing that, and then you had to tell somebody you were doing Nope, that? it's a big rule. But, yeah, she, she ended up, um, telling, telling them about it. Oh, no. Yeah, and we're both fine, but the other guy in the center who's involved, he he might not be so fine. But um, I had to console him earlier. That was really that kind of sucked. That's the um the what do you call it? The mistress. Yes. Yeah. He was the mistress. Yeah. The, the mistress. Yeah. You you consoled your own mistress. I had uh, I had to yeah I had to consult. Is that your the, mistress? The mistress. That's their mistress. 
Yeah, they had to consult their mistress. It's not your mistress. That's your... Whatever, I don't know. What's your... What's yeah. Your, what do you call... What do you call the relationship between you and the person... And your partner's mistress? Hmm. Oh my god, that's such a good question. I'm gonna look this up. Yeah, you're not supposed to do that in rehab, I guess. No, you're not. Well, especially love rehab. So did you? Did you have a? It's, it's regular rehab, but. <laughs> oh, I thought you're in um, what codependency rehab or whatever. No, that's my problem, and there's classes on codependency, but um, it's not like specifically for codependency. It's for addiction. Well, okay. But yeah, my main addiction is people. I guess it's like a, it's hard to, hard to know, but, uh, I mean, I think so, a lot of people would be, they don't have a lot of people don't have friend, friends or relationships, so, like, to be addicted, I mean, but I guess I kind of think about this, like, when I watch, um, like, uh, like, intervention, uh-huh. and they're doing all that drugs, right? I'm like, yeah. Where do you even... Get all those drugs. <laughs> you want to know, Kenny? What? Yeah, kind of. How to get drugs? Well, I'm not like well, how to get drugs, but like how do you like you have all this time to get drugs? You have drugs there. You're doing them. It's like you're like how do you get the time to even do all this stuff? And like if you're like addicted to love, like then you have love. You have a lot of relationships. Yeah. It's like. I mean, it's like, sometimes it's hard to find love at all, let alone be addicted. Yeah, it to, is. Like, it's hard to be addicted to something that's hard to, like, uh, come by. Yeah, that's, an, I've never thought about that, but that's very true, because it is very hard to come by, and I never think people are interested in me. This is actually the first time I've been with someone who I've met in person and not online. So, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, that's that's odd to me that with the kids these days with the online dating, huh? Yeah, I've done that my whole life, Kenny, since I was a kid. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's it's like the only way. How do you even? I know. That's what I said, and then I found out about being roommates with somebody. <laughs> yeah. Well, like you end up. Uh, if you start doing that, because then you, you already live together, I mean, and you live together in rehab, the whole thing's like a secret. Huh? It's like a secret thing, but you live in rehab, but you're not supposed to tell anybody? Yeah. Yeah, you're not supposed to. And then it's... I mean, they don't keep you... I guess it's hard, it's hard to hear who are they going to keep you apart from. Right? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, I don't think they're, I don't think, I, I, I think they just gotta trust me. Yeah, well, cause they gotta put you somewhere, and, yeah, yeah it's like, you can't, we can't let you around anybody, I think, right? No, we can't let, no, not anyone, Kenny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, At least, it makes me feel like a catch. Catch? A catch. Oh, a catch your catch, yeah. 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 I mean, if they're trying to manipulate you, I mean, I would. <laughs> I would. I, is it? Is it not manipulation if I'm like very happy about it? But if somebody started doing that and manipulating me, I'd be like, "Wow, this is great." <laughs> manipulated. Um, well, Are you sure you would say that, Kenny? I don't know if you would. I don't know. Uh, it seems seems good. Right? <laughs> yeah, it seems good. Uh, well, no, it doesn't seem good. No, it's not nice. I've had it happen all types of ways. This is the first time I've experienced this type of way. Um, when, uh, when was the last time I talked to you? It's been like months? It's been a long time because, uh, I had my phone taken away after I relapsed on ketamine. Oh, when was that? Uh, that was, uh, almost three weeks ago. And then they, they, they just gave it back to you? Yeah, they, they gave it back to me on Monday. Um, but I, I was in the throes, you know? Um, 
And, uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm still not allowed to go outside for, by myself for another week, but, um, I don't know if they're going to, like, pause that and continue it when I get back from the psych ward, I don't know how it's going to happen. Um, well, how did they find out? Did they test you, or what? Uh, oh my god, that's a whole, Kenny, you don't even know. It was a whole fucking thing. Basically, uh, there was this guy in rehab named, named Reed, which is the same name as the person I just dated. Um, and, um, they, uh, I, I wanted to relapse, and they wanted to relapse, and, um... Specifically relapse and not just do, do things for fun. Well, I want to do things for fun, but we call that relapsing. Um, we were at a pizza shop, and they just bought wine, and I was like, Whoa, what? Wine? I love... And it's my favorite brand of canned wine, too. <laughs> yeah, um, brand Oh, there's a good amount of brands of canned wine. There's a few. Um, you can find them all at Target. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's how it's started and then the next day I uh got a they got a ball of ketamine. Comes in a bottle? A ball. Oh. We got Okay, yeah. Yeah, and um I did it. Whoa. I know. And then well so um they asked me to pee for them when I was clean, so I peed for them before then, but they got a bunch of synthetic urine and they were trying to get away with it, but, you know, the guilt comes up, so, uh, they confessed and then, like, made up the story that made no sense about, like, just, like, randomly meeting a dealer outside of the movie theater and then just giving them ketamine. And, um, then, um, yeah, um, what was even the next part I was going to say? I'm sorry, I'm out of it. Um... Oh yeah, uh, when we were, uh, after they confessed, I like, so I drank a bunch of water because also there's somewhere, you know, I was like, oh, I'm gonna try to get away with it even though that I knew I was gonna confess. And, um, I peed, they had me do a test, um, after they confessed because I was there and, um, it was really clear, so the person was like, this is diluted. Uh, and they're like, oh, seems like you drink, you drink a lot of water, didn't you? And I said, I did do drugs, and, oh. yeah. And they took your phone away? Yep, for a whole two weeks, and then a whole month of not being able to go outside by myself. That's like a, kind of a, I mean, a childish, um, punishment. Like. Yeah, well, it was because I wired money. Oh. Yeah, they, they told me that it would leave my system in 48 hours and that alcohol would leave my system in 24 hours. Yeah, I guess like... It's not true. Oh, that's one of those things is like I heard that marijuana stays in your system for like months so then people end up doing cocaine or something. Yeah, it does. Um, well, that's... That's us. You're, I mean, I don't know. Uh, it's kind of a scary, you're living, I'm kind of scared of your life, I, I, I had a, I kind of fear that a little bit, but, um, I mean, you're doing it, and you're, I don't know, but, like, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting better, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm a little bit afraid of institutions, yeah, I mean, I am too, I'm, like, very, I'm very, yeah, <laughs> skeptical of them, I kind of, like, sometimes I think, if I, if I go to, like, a, a doctor, and uh -huh. then they're going to be like, you're crazy! <laughs> and they're going <laughs> to put me in a, like, one of those, like, a straight jacket in the room. Yeah. I'm like, no! And then you're going to be listening to that institution song over and over. What song is that? I'm not crazy. Institution. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. How you don't know that song? No. Institutionalized by suicidal tendencies? Oh, maybe I do. Maybe I do. 
You're a crazy person. Oh. Sorry. No, I'm saying. Um, wow, well, anything, anything good happen? How's the no. food? Life is bad. <laughs> no, I mean, like, people care about me, and that feels really nice. People are trying to cheer me up today. Yesterday, this guy, uh, was like, uh, he, he was like, he saw that I was sad, and he was like, and it was before I could tell anybody, he was like, play a song, play a song on my speaker, so I played Temptation by New Order, and he started dancing, and he said, this is karate music, and he started doing karate moves. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, that was nice, and today, um, one of my housemates gave me, uh, like a little framed picture thing to put in my ring. Oh, and they give you your phone back. Yeah, yeah, I've had my phone back, and in the sideboard, I'm allowed to have my phone. But honestly, like, life is so much easier without a phone. Um, yeah. Not for, like, going places or shit, but just, like, not going crazy, or texting your exes, or all of those things. Yeah, I still don't, I don't carry around a phone. I, um, well, I do, I, I carry a phone, but it's on Wi-Fi only, so when I'm out... I don't, it doesn't, it can't ring. You're smart for that. Um. Unless if, unless if somebody you're close to is in danger. Yeah, it's hard to imagine, uh, not having, or li growing up with the phone. Uh, cause I didn't have it when I was a little kid. So I saw it, like, hap I saw it ha happen, and now it's, they're everywhere, and it's weird a little bit. Only 90s babies now. I know, I, I, I think it is not a good thing <laughs> to grow up with a phone, in my experience. <laughs> I remember, I remember when phones came out, let me tell you, back in my day. But, uh, yeah. I remember not having a phone and then seeing them pop up and, um, I remember when, uh, you know, a Steve Jobs, he's like, the, the iPhone. Like, you, were you in the audience? I was like, what? What? I mean, I was on the TV audience. <laughs> what is what? that? What? You can play games on it? I had a candy bar phone. That's so cute. I want that. Yeah. Um, well, there was no... It was like, um, LED screen, you know? Mm hmm Look kind of like an old Game Boy? Yeah. Yeah. Um... I like old Game Boys. Yeah. But you still, is it still in Portland? You still in Portland? Kenny, I'm here... I'm here till I die. <laughs> I mean, are you already there longer than you were supposed to be? I... I thought this was a three-month program and I've been here for over three months. Um, that's a long time. Uh... Yeah, you, well, I've been talking to you for over a year. I, I was looking at the messages from the past. Yeah! Oh my so, god, I should have called you my anniversary, but I didn't have my phone. Yeah. Um, well, that's, that's not great. So, what, uh, you're... <laughs> have you been talking to your family? Yeah, I've been talking to my family. Um, I'm going to call my mom today about everything. And do you have a... I mean, you could use, like, a landline phone or something? Uh, when I'm at the psych ward, I'm going to be able to keep my phone. But what about, like, when you didn't have a phone? Oh, no. 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 We don't have anything like that. Not allowed to do that. But then you just... I mean, you are, you're just, like, isolated, though? That seems like that's going to mess you up. They say don't isolate. That's, like, the number one thing. Um, yeah, I mean, you can get people to take you to meetings and shit, you know? Yeah, but aren't they isolating you if they're taking away your phone? Um, a little bit, but you know, you can like, order drugs with your phone. So yeah. that's supposed to be the mentality over it. Oh, okay. Um, but, um, yeah, you, people like me, I don't even have any plugs or anything. Have you, have you been to a psych ward before? No, I'm kind of worried, but it's going to be fun. My memoir is getting... its uh, There's just so much to talk about in Weed Hat, Kenny. You have no idea. 
I mean, are you, are you involved in the mental health system right already, or? Yeah, yeah, right now this is a mental health system, but I haven't oh. been in an inpatient psych ward ever. Yeah, did they, like, what, take your shoelaces? Yeah, they're, they're probably going to take my shoelaces. I don't know. I um, I was in this... I was on suicide watch for one day. I went into that place at Kaiser, and they put me in a gown. And there was, like, a schizophrenic guy, ne like, in the room next to me. And, like, yeah. Yeah, well, what was he... What was he doing? Was he talking to himself? He... Uh, yeah, he was... Uh, he Well, I think he just had dementia. Because he was, like, really old, and he seemed like he had dementia. I mean, but I think they could lead to each other. Really? I mean, I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm not a doctor, but it just seems like if you are, have one or the other, it would be easier to get one or the other as well. Huh. I have Baltimers. What's that? Baltimers, because I'm balling. I don't know, I don't know what that means. I don't know. Oh. I thought that was a mental <laughs> disease. A mental health thing I have? I've got ball timers. I got ball timers. It's like it could be a, yeah, like some kind of um, mental health disease. Yeah, there's, there's endless of those, and I've had enough of them. I'm done with that whole thing. What did look like rehab and inpatient psych unit are going to be very similar? Yes, but the thing is, I, yeah, probably, but, like, it'll be in, like, one building, which is different, like, I'm in a house and then I go to a center, versus just being in the place. It'll be a little different. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's a lot. Uh, good luck with all that stuff. I mean, you know, look at, uh, have you seen, have you seen 12 Monkeys? I haven't seen 12 Monkeys. Is it good? It's pretty good. How about One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest? I've seen that, and I love Girl Interrupted. Yeah, what about Swing Blade? I haven't seen Swing Blade. Oh, also, Kenny, 28 Days, 28 days Later is different, so I found out we watched a movie called 28 Days, and it's a rehab movie, and it's different than 28 Days Later. 28 Days Later is Zombies. Yeah, it's zombies, but there's also the movie 28 Days, which is about, um, rehab. Oh, uh, we were talking about this, like, three months ago? Yes. I don't really, I very, I kind of remember this. It's important. But you were talking about the rehab movie, and I was talking about the zombie movie? Yeah, but I thought that it was the same thing. Like, I, when they told me we were watching 28 Days, I heard of 28 Days Later, and I was like, I thought this is a zombie movie, like, I've seen the cover for it before. And I thought it was something, but I guess it's about rehab. And then I told you, thinking that it's, like, one movie. Not that it was a zombie movie, because I'd already seen it, but, like, thinking that... Yeah, it was, it was, it was a conundrum. I think I... Maybe I told you before I watched it. I'm trying to remember exactly how it worked, but basically, they're different movies. Yeah, um, I mean, there's like, uh, probably some rehab zombies anyway. Mm -hmm. Um, they probably give you, well, they give you ketamine as a, as a psych drug. Yes, there's ketamine therapy, but it's definitely different than street ketamine. The dosage is like really, 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 like, minuscule compared to the dosage for ketamine you get on the street. Yeah. I heard it's for horses. Isn't that stuff for horses? You heard what? It's for horses. Yeah, it is for horses. Yeah. Um. Yeah, wow. Well. Oh. Uh. Yellowfellow, Yellowfellow left a message, actually. It's been a long time as well. Are you going to do, uh, oh, it's spooky month this month. Hell yeah, it's Halloween's coming up. Yeah, all of October we do spooky month. Oh, yeah, I remember that from last year. Oh, yeah, you've been around for a year. We're doing I've been around for a whole fucking year. It's my anniversary. You miss Hayakuba, too. What did I miss? Hayakuba. Oh, no. You know what that is? 
I don't know. I think you told me about it. Yeah. That was on September 19th. Um, wow. Yeah. That's our that's our year anniversary. That's beautiful. And we're what, we're, what 14, 15 years old, something like that. Um, Damn, that's old. Yeah. What are you What are you gonna Are you gonna do Halloween? Or are you gonna be in the psych ward? Oh, Kenny, I don't know what I'm gonna do for Halloween. No, I'm not gonna be in the psych ward, but. I don't know. I want to go to Sacramento for Halloween. Yeah, are they going to let you out? Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. They'll let me, they'll, they'll let me go. You're allowed to, like, go on two overnight things. And then what, just go to your parents' house? Yeah, I would go to my parents' house for Halloween. I would, oh god. Halloween. I don't know, maybe I'll stay here, man. I don't fucking know. Yeah, it's drug-oriented Halloween. Is, what about, what Halloween is a drug holiday. Remember when you dressed up your father? Was that for Halloween? Oh, no, that was for... <laughs> that was for, um... Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah? Did you get your yeah. holidays mixed up? Why would you... Costumes are for Halloween? I don't know, man. That's just what they did. <laughs> that's just what... That, that's just what I just... I think my... We were, like, the only people in costumes. Well, you... If I remember right, you made your father do it. He didn't really want to, but you kind of pressured him into doing it. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't want to. But my mom wanted him to. <laughs> your mom was it a pill from? Huh? Was he, what, what was the costume? I don't remember. I really don't remember. Daphne was in Pilgrim. I think she put him in drag. You put your father in drag for Thanksgiving? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure. She's a very, she's a very loving wife, and she doesn't try to humiliate my dad at all. He didn't really want to do it. He's like sad. He's like in drag, but he's sad. Yeah, yeah, he was sad about it. <laughs> oh, <what is> it? <laughs> <laughs> eating, eating potatoes with lipstick and sad. Kind of. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Oh my God. I can't believe that was almost a year ago. Yeah, time flies, huh? Okay. Yeah, I need, I need to go. I need to talk to my house manager. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Call back again soon. All right. All right. Wow, that was exciting, huh? All right, I guess I'm going to try to call my brother. It hasn't... Oh, we should have gotten Kiara on the message of the future. Did you buy a dog? No, remember when they used to cough like that? 
Yeah, you still do. You just dip. Yeah. You do and you did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I did. You did. Yeah, I 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 did. Yeah, I
yeah, late night program. Remember? It's uh, yeah. used to be like this a lot more frequently. I feel like uh, I've been watching a lot of old episodes, and uh, there was a lot more late night programs back then in the day. This used to be like the normal time. Yeah. I just watched an episode today while I was I was painting some signs for the museum, and I just like when I paint signs for the museum or do anything, I'll tune into the um, YDHWM 24-hour live streams, which like just plugs you into some random day from the past. This like this same day of the year, so today is uh, October 9th. So I was watching, like, I guess I wasn't watching. I was listening to several episodes from October 9th throughout previous years. And in 2014, I was on a trip with Uncle Dan. Like, we were in California, and he was, you talked to Uncle Dan, and he was, like, telling you how great Hate ashbury was. And then you called Kirsten, and... Kirsten was doing the production end. What? <laughs> mm-hmm. Like the tapes? I was out of town. I was in California. And Kirsten was, like, uh, putting commercials into episodes and turning them into TCTV. Like, not, a, not not just, like, taking, like, what we're doing now as the production end is pretty light. But, like, literally it was, like, editing in episodes putting commercials into like 40 minutes into this show and then her main concern on the episode was like have I been putting like the um, like remember how we used to do this thing where we like already knew what the theme of the day was going to be Yeah. and like so we would just be like okay we're airing this on this day like we're talking about this topic but then on the day that it airs, we're going to be talking about this topic. So call in about this. Yeah. It was so insane. Well, and she was like, I'm not sure I'm like getting the like call in about this topic thing correct. And you're like, that doesn't matter. But like, that, I was like thrown back into time basically today because of the, um, because of the 24 hour live stream. Yeah. I'm, I'm surprised that she would do that or, that's a lot. It's yeah. a big task. It wasn't I like think it was maybe for like a week, but still, it's like you know, it's a, still a big, it's a very big task for a week. How did you did you fly to California? But what? Did you fly there with Dan? Yeah, we went on a plane, I guess. Yeah. And then did you like stay in a hotel with them? Uh, what? It was a hotel. Yeah, we slept in the hotel with a, a rental car, all of it. And then you went to, like, his old hippie hangout? Mm-hmm. Sorry, I'm having a hard time hearing you. Uh, you went to Dan's old hippie hangout? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And to me, I'm like, I was like, I guess this is hate, Ashbury, but, like, I listened to him describe it to you on the phone, and he was enthralled. He was like so thrilled to be back in the hate. Like, um, even though it, it couldn't have been even like a like a a shred of the same like hippie energy. But yeah. like he was there in the same spot. He was like living it up, loving it. Like I think he was seeing it through his eyes in the sixties, you know? I think he and, was like, he was there in like sixty eight, like the height of it. Yeah. Totally. The height of the hate. Yeah, we got a lot. I mean, yeah, peace and love. I hate. It's like he, and then we went to some other spots, and he was just like, he wanted to sit in this like field for a couple hours. I remember that. It was like a park, like a new park, but it was like very close to the Hidashbury district. And he was like, this is, like, he was like, I hung out here a lot and, like, had a lot of memories from the park. And like, we just, like, sat there and didn't do much, but we just sat in the park. Is it Hippie Hill? Huh? They call it Hippie Hill. Mm, yeah, 
hippie hill. I don't know. I, the, he didn't call it that, and it wasn't labeled as such. There was some kind of a, um, like an arboretum around there, I think. What's like, that? I think maybe the guy's been turned into, like, a official park. What's at this arboretum? Point. Mm-hmm. What'd you say? What's an arboretum? Yeah. It's like a uh, tree park. It's like they have interesting trees, and they're, maybe they're uh, labeled so you know what tree it is. You see what tree each tree is and why it's important. Yeah, well, uh, it's like a museum of trees. What? I can't even imagine an interesting tree. Like a bonsai tree? Mm, no, bonsai are just like uh, regular trees, but they keep them from growing big. What? What is the interrupting tree? It was like a monkey paw tree, which is pretty cool. I do think, uh, you know, a palm tree is interesting. Palm At the <laughs> current, like, museums have a palm tree, uh, where, like, the, the T.C. Mofa Museum, we have a palm tree. Yeah. That's growing. But it's been there uh, for a long time, like since the, since I, I found a video of Patsy Face in the early 2000s, at least, like 2001, and the palm tree is still a fully grown palm tree, and I know that um, the people who own that building got it in like 1970. They probably planted the palm tree, but I'm like still like, oh, where'd that palm tree? Tree oh, come from and why? I heard that they don't even, they're not even native to LA area, that all those palm trees in LA, they're all planted. Uh-huh. They're all fakey. Really? Yeah. Where did they come from then? I guess south, farther south. Or yeah. maybe like Hawaii. What's we the, want those palm trees. What's monkey paw tree? Uh, it's like a... Oh, it's like a monkey puzzle tree. Sorry, mo- not monkey paw tree. Monkey puzzle tree. Uh, it's like a puzzle? spiky tree. My neighbor has one over the alleyway. I can look over my um, my very classic laurel hedge, and then I can see this monkey puzzle tree. Are you saying like a jigsaw puzzle? Yes, like a jigsaw puzzle, but it's a monkey puzzle. It's monkey puzzle tree? Monkey puzzle tree. Yeah, it's like a challenging tree for a monkey to climb. Why? Like even the monkeys are having a challenging time climbing this. Huh? Why? Yeah. Uh, Maybe it is wiggly and spiky. Okay. It's a puzzle. It's like a puzzle for a monkey. They're like, how am I going to climb this tree? Yeah, they're like, I'm not sure how to climb this one. Uh, monkey puzzle tree sounds like two random words, or maybe basically three random words. <laughs> monkey puzzle tree. Yeah, yeah, it does actually sound like that, yeah. What, what are you saying? Daisy, pumpkin. You're like, what are you Trabando. talking about? Uh, yeah, uh, that's a lot. Well, where's the dog? Hmm? Where's the dog? Downstairs. She's wearing her little snuggie for the first time in a while because it's kind of getting cold out there. Yeah? How's the um, production then? It's good. It's good. We're, um, you know, on TV every night at 11.30 p.m. And then at 2 a.m. we play the episode from uh, eight years ago, which is a long time. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, it's good. We're getting old. I think it's time for a new clone tape. Yeah, I agree. we got to get some new, maybe, sponsors and stuff. Yeah. So let's, uh, let's, put a, let's put a deadline on it. I guess at least 20 minutes. <laughs> What, the year? What about, uh, before the new, like, what do you call it, um, our own award ceremony? 
to the Academy Awards? Yeah. Yeah. Before, be, we'll do it before then. New clone tape. Alright. I think, like, the clone tape is the easy part, and then, um, I want to start getting more, like, uh, you know, sponsors. Like, like, sponsors that are actually doing stuff? No, probably not. <laughs> yeah, alright. Probably the same. Yeah. Regular, not yeah. doing anything sponsors. Like, um, what? Shirler? Yeah, maybe get Shirler. Maybe get, uh, I mean, it'd be cool if maybe an old school wanted to give us some pizza sometime. That'd be cool. Yeah. Um, make it official. You should get the, uh, get the, um, anybody who we're giving out the awards to. Like, pretty much any of them would be potential sponsors, I, I believe. Okay. Anybody who's getting an award. Oh, yeah. Just mention it to them. Oh, that's true. Good point. Yeah. All right. Well, let's see. we got about five minutes left. Um, you want to hear a message or you want to do whatever you're doing? Uh, I guess I'm going to uh, go. Bye. Bye. Tired. Uh oh. Should have let Freddy go because I'm now I'm uh oh, I'm this message, but uh thinking. Oh oh. Oh oh. Uh oh. Computer. Oh, what happened to? We lost the meat as well. trying to get back on here. The um the 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 thing is messed up. I wanna listen to this Mr. Ginsu message but um the the phone is struggling to function. Mr. Ginsu, you got oh, caterpillars on your marijuana. What is it? Uh, something that, it, it's not the if it ain't caterpillar, or if it ain't spider mites, it's caterpillars. Son of a bitch. Run over to you. It's freaking killing me. Run over to the bridge. We have a piece of shelf. What do you do? 360 or 364. I'll break that. That ain't the only thing that's killing me, though. Sing you a song. Uh oh. Yellow fellow, you drunk? Mm, one minute. Yellow fellow sounding drunk. taken away.
Thank you. Thank you. sat down here and Kiara called and we talked uh, for like a good half an hour about what, <laughs> what, what even was it, um, uh, 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 relationships and, and manipulation and Halloween and dressing your father in drag for Thanksgiving from your mother and uh, ketamine and other things. We talked to my brother about spookiness and burning the house down, nearly burning the house down. And then um, we talked to Freddy for a while about nostalgia and the future. And Yellowfellow was drunk. And uh, wow, you know, that brings us back around here to about now. It's another day. Maybe people are more available at night. I bet Kiara is. Um, what did I even do today? I didn't even get to it because Kiara was there right when the, um, right when we answered. So started it out like that. I did a lot. I it was in a oh. Your recording has reached the maximum length. To replay. We made it. We made it. Wow, what a day. Yeah, shooting that movie, doing the thing, eating McDonald's. Oh, I shoved it all in. I ate it all in McDonald's today. Uh, yep. Well, call me message. Where is it? Where is everybody? Thanks for watching. Wednesday. On TTT, channel 22, 1130, 2 a.m. Check it out. Yeah, why didn't you come home on YouTube? 360 Call me a message on TV. Yeah. Why didn't you come dot com? Graham Graham, it's a good song. Thank you. DC TV, LaBebe, Jordy Fabulous, that's the book for a star video. Stop by Com, Rebecca Mount Board, Northwest, Thurston County, Washington State, USA. Thank you, viewers. You're watching. Thank you. Hey, John, where are you? Call me. 
Oh yeah, dog. Bye.